Hello class 4th students, I hope you are all doing well. Today we are going to begin with the chapter 6 that is movements of the earth. And the main points are the earth and its axis, rotation and revolution of the earth. So class, let's begin. Answer the following questions. First, in which season do you like to sit near the fire? Second, in which season do you like to wear cotton clothes? Third, in which season do you wear a lean coat? You have to read these questions and answer them accordingly. The earth and its axis. Our earth is a planet. It is the only planet where living things like humans, animals and plants are found. Other planets do not have life on them. Many happenings on the earth affects all the living things on it. The earth has an imaginary axis that passes through its center and touches on two points, the North Pole and the South Pole. The Earth is tilted at an angle of 23rd and half from the plane of its orbit and around the Sun. The Earth has two types of movements, rotation and revolution. Here you can see the picture of the Earth and its axis. Now, rotation. The Earth spins on its imaginary axis. This movement of the earth is called rotation. The earth rotates from the direction of west to east. It takes 24 hours to complete one rotation on its axis. Here you can see in the picture of rotation of the earth. Day and night. The rotation of the earth causes day and night on it. The part of the earth which is in front of the sun has day and the part of the earth which is away from the sun has night. The earth takes 24 hours to rotate once, so each part of the earth experiences day and night. As the earth rotates from west to east, we see sunrise in the east first. So, the eastern part of the earth is the one day ahead of the western part. Now, here you can see the picture of day and night. Now, revolution. The earth moves around the sun. This movement of the earth is called revolution. The earth revolves around the sun in a fixed path called the orbit. The orbit of the earth is elliptical in shape. The earth takes 365 days, 6 hours to complete one revolution. We have a year of 365 days. The extra 6 hours is collected for 4 years and the 4th year is of 366 days. This year is called a leap year. In a leap year, February is of 29 days. A leap year is divided by 4. So, years of 2004, 2008, 2012, 2016 were leap years. But a century year becomes leap year when it is divisible by 400. So, year 1600 and 2000 are leap years, but 1700, 1800, etc. are not leap years. Seasons The revolution of the earth around the sun causes different seasons. The tilt of the earth also has an important role. We have four main seasons, summer, winter, spring and autumn. An imaginary horizontal line all around the earth which passes through its center is called the equator. It divides the earth in two equal parts, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. At a time when the northern hemisphere is tilted towards the sun, the southern hemisphere is away from it. So, the northern hemisphere gets more sun rays and has summer season. The southern hemisphere at the same time gets less sun rays so it has winter season. On 21st June, sun rays fall on the northern hemisphere for very long time. So there is the longest day in the northern hemisphere on this day. This is called the summer solstice in the northern hemisphere. When the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, the southern hemisphere is tilted towards it. The northern hemisphere gets less sun rays during this period. So there is winter season in the northern hemisphere and the summer season in the southern hemisphere. 22nd December is the shortest day in the northern hemisphere. 
so there is winter solstice on this date in the northern hemisphere here you can see the picture occurring of season on the earth within a period of one revolution of the earth the sun shines twice directly over the equator on 21st march and 23rd september so the hours of day and night are equal on these days this is called equinox the sun rays fall differently on the poles they receive direct sun rays for 6 months alternately if the north pole receives the direct sun rays for 6 months the north pole does not receive it for that period so the poles have day and night for 6 months each the poles also have summers and winter seasons of 6 months each the rotation and revolution of the earth take place at that same time so we have continuous days and night and different seasons on the earth now the valued facts sun rays are very useful for us awesome fact the earth's axis is tilted but it does not fall to this side now kids let's learn new words orbit path of earth's revolution elliptical egg shaped axis a line crossing the center of the earth now kids let's remember the earth has an imaginary axis on which it rotates the rotation of the earth causes day and night the revolution and tilt of the earth cause different seasons summer solstice on 21st june has the longest day and the winter solstice on 22nd december has the shortest day in the northern hemisphere 21st march and 23rd september are two equinoxes i hope you all enjoyed this session now we will meet in the next class till then bye bye